Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. To start working on Viva Vault, you should have a good understanding on the Pharma domain knowledge, as it is specifically built for the Pharma clients. To understand more about Pharma domain, you should know first thing is the Pharma life cycle. So today we will be seeing more into this topic, like what Pharma companies do. And what are the activities has been taken care of by them for each and every disease across the world. So how they are documenting the same and then they are, how they are managing the like medical history, patient history and all research related stuffs and commercial related documents. So here we are splitting them into two halves. Like one is R&D, the other one is commercial. So at R&D what they were doing and at the commercial area what they were doing we will be discussing clearly with the complete life cycle of the former companies do so the very first thing uh, the comp uh, pharma companies will be doing is like at the r d lab for every disease um, the scientist will be investigating about the each and every disease and then they will be finding a formula for the same once the formula is successful um, they were thinking it is a successful formula. They will be start testing it out in um, animals first. So it is like a clinical trial operations they will be doing consistently as per the regulatory processes they have. Like um, they will be uh, testing on an animal for a uh, first week and then they will be finding uh, how it is reacting and then they will be continuously doing for two to three weeks. Like that the clinical trial operations will be happening for more than a year. So all these things will be documented and then they have to place it in a single location. So once the documentation has been done, um, they will be go, uh, verifying the test cases, like uh, whether the test cases are positive or negative. Okay. So if it is good if it is more than 90 percentage and they are thinking that medicine is the perfect one for the disease then they have to sell it to every country across the world to sell it to the every country so they have to get the approval from the regulatory authorities of every country for example for us it is fda so likewise for every country there is a um, food and drug administrative department will be there the regulatory authority has to approve to allow the medicine inside their market like inside their country so for um, doing that they will be verifying uh, whether the documents are in place whether the clinical trial operations have been done properly so there are a lot of uh, um, models they have so they will be following that uh, whether it is perfect then they will be approving that medicine or their facilities to do it in their country Okay, so till here it is called as an R&D area, so the research and development area. Once it is completed, we are moving into the commercial section. So commercial section is like selling the medicine to the patients. So how the medicines will be reaching to the patients? If a doctor is prescribing the medicine, then it will be reaching to the patients. So how the doctor will be prescribing the medicine? So the same pharma companies will be having a medical reps. They will be contacting the doctors and then the doctors will be prescribing the medicines for doing this things is called a commercial applications will be using it so once uh, doctors are fine with the medicine they will be prescribing to the patients and patients will be directly buying the medicines so now here how we are world coming into the picture is like from the research area for the, all the clinical trial operations and the documenting so they have around 10 to 12 applications in hand in Viva Vault to support the clinical suits. So in that um, there are list of uh, applications like Vault EDC, Vault RTSM, Vault EPRO, CDB, ETMF, CTMS, Site Connect like that around 10 to 12 um, clinical applications Viva Vault is providing. So here all the documents uh, managing by the scientist as well as the medical related people they will be uploading into the viva world of clinical world application and then 
routing it for the workflow and approval process inside the vault itself since it is an enterprise content management tool so once the clinical is completed they will be moving into the regulatory vaults so we have registrations submissions publishing and uh, submission archive so these are all the different vault applications um, have been provided for the regulatory uh, related activities so here the vault has uh, given a electronic way of uh, approving the doc documents and signing everything done inside the vault application itself by the regulatory authorities and then uh, they will be getting the approval for the uh, approved medicines so after this while entering into the commercial area we have promo mats med comps and med inquiries so these are all the three commercial applications uh, we have so promo mats is nothing but a promotional materials all the promotion related materials documents will be available inside the promo mats application then medical communication related documents will be available under the medcoms area so these um, commercial applications always be linked to a crm application so crm is nothing but a salesforce application so even viva is having a viva crm which is tied up with salesforce application to showcase it to the customers or to the doctors or hcps so the mainly the clm and approved emails are the the main um, integration piece from the promats and medcoms area to the crm application so this is this is how the commercial area um medical reps will be taking an ipad and showcasing to the uh, doctors and just explaining about the medicines and then the medicines will be prescribed by the doctors finally so for all this application from r&d to commercial there is a single application which will be having all the quality related documents that is called a quality vault they will be calling it as there are around 7 to 8 quality vault applications we have from the viva vault area like qms quality docs validation management um, product surveillance limbs training so like that all the training related documents as well standard operating procedure documents regulatory documents all the quality related stuffs will be managed in the quality vault so this is how for a complete pharma life cycle viva vault is uh, providing the support from their area with uh, more than 20 to 30 applications from their side from their side yeah so thanks for watching this video keep adding your comments uh, for any questions i can help you out thank you